recently, so this was all reporting so far, but recently we have enhanced the tool to also allow uploads from uh, Excel back to Oracle because the feedback from our customers was that Web ADI is not so user friendly and also not very fast. And for that reason, we have integrated an upload functionality. So we have just started developing those uploads. So we, at the moment, we only have about 20, but the, the number will increase uh, very soon. So let me show you an example based on the peer requisition creation. So you select as a user, you would select one of these uploads and then you can choose what you would like to do. So if you want to create new requisitions, then you would choose the create mode and then the tool will generate an Excel file, which is empty, and then you can enter data and upload it. But you can also choose the create or update mode and then you can query existing requisitions and modify them or also create new ones. So let me query requisitions from 2006. And here again, you see the status pending, running, and an output. And then once the request is completed, we see an output file. In this case, it is uh, macro enabled and it has color highlighting. So that, for example, you, you see which columns you are allowed to update. The gray columns are read only, and uh, the yellow columns are the required columns. So if you create new records, you need to provide uh, the yellow columns or values for the uh, required yellow columns. So in this case, we are not allowed to update the requisition number for existing requisitions, but we are allowed to update the header description and so on. So let me, in this case, let me just copy and paste the item description and enter it as the header description as a test. Okay, so we can copy and paste it like this. And then the tool understands which records were modified and will process these uploads. We can also create new records. Let me just to be quicker, let me just copy some of these yellow columns. Okay, so we have two new rows. We could also manually create records. So here we have a list of value validation, very similar to Oracle Forms. So for example, that we have a valid inventory organization and deliver to location, let's say Buenos Aires, and we need a requester and let's say there should be supplier. And then we need an inventory item. Let's see what we have. For example, a forklift battery, let's see. And that is an expensive one. Let's say we only want one could also modify the price. This is just defaulted, let's say $1,180. And we wanted it on the 1st of January 2023 already. Okay, so now we have some updates and we have new records. And as a user, you would save then the file and you would upload the file, the complete file from the downloads folder. And that's why this tool is much, much faster than Web ADI and other tools on the market because we process the whole data set in bulk on a server. So for example, you could even use it to update hundred thousands of inventory items and it will, will still work. And then process the data in bulk on a server. In this case, unfortunately, everything is ended in error. Need by date needs to be greater than today. And here the charge account is invalid. And here the revision is invalid. But we can now in the output file, which shows these errors, we can now correct the data. For example, here the need by date, we can say this should be, let's say, 30th of October 23. And then let's hope that we can process these records. Okay. The other ones, we could also look at this one. The charge account is invalid. What can we do? We could probably copy and paste the charge account information from previous rows and hope that it will fix this problem. Okay, let's see. Now I'm trying to reprocess these records. Let's choose the file and upload it. Now it's running. And after that is complete, we would see then the result again. 
Okay, looks better. So we had uh, a little bit of success. So the last one is still, the revision is still invalid for this item because I didn't change it. But we have the, the updates processed and we also have new requisitions created. So here you see these two. So we would now find these newly created requisitions in Oracle. And yeah, that's mainly, that's the functionality of the new upload. There's of course a lot more to show around this tool. So it has automated import options from different other tools from via yeah, publisher, from enterprise command centers, and especially from discoverer. So we have discover migration fairly automated so that you can use the tool to quickly migrate all your discoverer workbooks into the tool. And yeah, if you uh, would like to see more, please reach out to us and uh, we can arrange a personalized demo. Thanks.